When the journey begins, you never quite know who's going to be there at the end. Now only two teams left in the cup, and we're left wondering who's going to be lifting it. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live from Madrid here on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-two, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And operating through the middle and attack today, Karim Benzema. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. And so the match is underway. Well, no stopping him. Takes the shot. Oh, off the post. And behind it goes. Well, he did everything right there, but he doesn't quite get it inside the post. That would have been a brilliant goal. Vinicius Junior, a very timely interception. Rafinha. Jules Kunde on the ball. De Jong. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Top class defending. Modric. Karim Benzema. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Rafinha. And slipped through beautifully. De Jong. Can they get themselves in front here? He can't hold on to it. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant.
And the corner played over by Dembele. Now the keeper dealt with the danger. De Jong. High quality defending. He's enjoying space. And players waiting in the centre. Luka Modric. Now the attack fizzled out. Araujo. Sergio Busquets has lost it. Modric. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. De Jong. Rafinha. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And slipped through by Karim Benzema. Reading it well. Denied once more. And the danger is averted. Valverde. Nicely timed tackle. Lewandowski. Pedri. Real Madrid unable to hang on to the ball. Lewandowski. Now with Benzema. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Sergio Busquets. Araujo. Pedri. Now Lewandowski carries the ball forward. But can he produce from this position? Carvajal. Not a great pass. Garcia. Pedri. Jordi Alba. An alert intervention. Shuameni. Karim Benzema. That's a complete understanding of the game. Look at Modric. Now, was that the denial of a goal scoring opportunity? It falls on the referee to decide. Well, not a red card, just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. Lewandowski. Oh, great defending. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Oh, it's in! Real Madrid make the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Benzema finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. underway and that should really shake up Barcelona a bit you would think Dembele Pedri 
Well, as you can see, Barcelona have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Federico Valverde. And so it is. The first half has come to an end here in the Spanish capital. And the ball is moving once more, and not enough went to plan for Barca in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Options in the middle. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Karim Benzema. This is Kroos. On to Benzema. Benzema seducing with his passing. Wonderful chance. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way. Surely. is again Benzema finds exactly the right pass behind those defenders and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here Barca maintain possession advantage Pedri Promising move from Barcelona. Lewandowski. A very timely interception. And slipped through beautifully. And he might be in here. He had to score, and he does. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. So on they go again, and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Pedri. Dembele on the ball. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Given away by Real Madrid. Rafinha. And back with Lewandowski. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, we're into the final half hour. It is a decent-looking attack here. Targets available. Cross comes in. No way through. Cross with the corner. Well, the danger is still there. Alaba. Here's Kroos. Easy meet for the goalkeeper.
Jordi Alba. Lewandowski. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And space here on the flank. And he's broken free. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. But hang on, offside is the decision here. Not a great pass. Of course. Real chance. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Lewandowski. Oh, fancy footwork. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And played short. Dangerous ball. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, only minutes remaining now, and Real Madrid enjoying a commanding lead. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete... Magnificent from Mark andre Ter Stegen. Just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Looks like a twisted knee from down here. You can just see him trying out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. It's going to be a double substitution. Now the delivery, not all that convincing defensively. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. the free kick lacking just a little bit of guile and it will be a free kick to Real Madrid determined defending Sergio Busquets And Torres on the ball. He continues his run. Barcelona have lost possession. Promising looking ball. Vinicius. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here.
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. My goodness, it's so... showing three additional minutes. Sergio Busquets. Able to skip past his man. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And there goes the final whistle the cup issue is settled a story of one side celebrating and the other distraught memories are being made well just look at those scenes down there Derek what a contrast in emotions brilliant for the winners despair for the losers but overall the right team won today yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But by goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.